Newsroom Africa's Mbali Tatane is monitoring developments on the streets of Johannesburg. Let's take you live to her now. Mbali, of course, we've seen officials out and about throughout the day. Are there particular areas of concern that they've identified so far? Well, Kathy, the Gauteng Transport Road Safety Campaign is still underway here in Mayerton. And, of course, you would know that uh, the uh, MEC for Transport in Gauteng, Mr. Jacob Mamabolo, was monitoring uh, the vehicles m passing here on the R29 in Mayerton. I'm just going to ask my colleague, Ridu, just to show you that uh, one in thing in particular that the Gauteng Transport is monitoring on and focusing on is the issue around the trucks, specifically on the R29 in Mayerton. Now they have stopped those vehicles, Kathy, on the main road here, and then they have brought them along uh, to the way bridge in which we are seeing in this area. And as you can see there, those trucks are lined up. Kathy, one thing in particular that uh, uh, the Gauteng Transport Department has cited is, of course, those trucks which are overloaded. And they saying that that is their main focus for this road traffic campaign, saying that they are also one of the cause for uh, accidents, especially during a time where many South Africans are traveling throughout the country and they're trying uh, to make their way to their various holiday destinations. But, Kathy, I'm just going to bring in uh, the MEC once more just to ask him about, you know, just monitoring the progress in which we have seen uh, this afternoon. MEC, you are on this uh, campaign. You have stopped a number of vehicles along the road on the R29. You've also mainly focused on the trucks passing through this road. Are you satisfied with the progress in which you have seen uh, today? Let me commend uh, our law enforcement officers. I'm really satisfied with the, the high level of um, uh, you know, discipline, commitment to enforce the law. That is highly appreciated. That's remarkable. We have seen already uh, our law enforcement officers uh, arresting a bus driver who was undermining them, actually uh, interfering with their duties, and uh, he made threats to law, um, to, to, to law enforcement officers. And uh, very swiftly and promptly, they arrested him uh, so that uh, the authority of the law can actually be enforced. And to that extent, it was good. We have also seen uh, a taxi that came, loaded some people who were sitting, uh, you know, they were not even on their seats. It was full of passengers, uh, and they stopped that taxi, uh, grounded it in other ways. The trip was discontinued, and uh, the taxi associations that are with us here, they had to call another taxi. So I must commend them. You can also see with uh, compliance with the required um, load of the vehicles, they're doing a wonderful job. If a vehicle does not comply, they discontinue it. They are looking at um, roadworthiness. Uh, because um, if a vehicle's functional safety uh, path, unlike, um, you know, the, the wipers, the lights, uh, they also discontinue the trip. So I am satisfied. I would really like to comment them. They are doing a wonderful job. The other thing we're looking at is compliance with COVID-19 uh, protocols. We are checking if people are wearing the mask. I went inside the bus. I checked everybody with the law enforcement officers. We checked inside the taxi, the private vehicles we stopped. So, um, uh, so we are checking everything. And I must say that uh, this work we are doing on the way bridge of checking um, the load. It's also important because overloaded vehicles are not only a threat to other motorists, they also damage the road, particularly these um, big uh, freight um, trucks. So we are also checking to protect uh, the road reserve. So to, to that extent, I must say, I am satisfied, but I would like to appeal to road users, respect our law enforcement officers. Um, they are protecting lives. They are doing their job. Please respect them. Secondly, we are seeing increased movement. We are appealing to people to stay at home uh, so that they can remain protected. And if you have to travel, respect the laws of this country. Uh, respect other road users, respect pedestrians, and make sure that your vehicle is fully compliant.
Uh, Mr. Mamawolo, one thing that you've also focused on, of course, uh, that's why we find ourselves on this way bridge, is the issue around the trucks. Are the trucks in which you are monitoring here, are they complying with the law? And have you spotted any which are not complying with the law? The report I received now is that um, uh, two trucks were found to have exceeded uh, the required limit and they were discontinued. So to that extent, um, culprits are being held liable. They are being held accountable and the law is taking score. So to that extent, the majority of them are compliant. We must also give credit where it's due. Those who are respecting the law, we must thank them for respecting and upholding the laws of our country. All right, thank you very much. Of course, that is Jacob Mamabolo, the MEC for Transport here in Gauteng, just talking about uh, the road safety campaign, saying that they are, of course, trying to curb uh, road fatalities, in which we see, especially uh, during, uh, you know, holidays, like in particular the Easter period, as well as, uh, you know, the festive season. So this time around, for the Easter period, they're focusing on, you know, things such as these truck drivers or trucks uh, that may cause harm to other motorists.